Hiya, so um, I just thought I'd come on and do a quick live about planning for my return and also I thought it would just be an opportunity for anyone to ask any questions they might have um, about either COVID or um, like any sort of treatments that I do if you have any questions. So um, I just thought I'd start out by saying I've sent an email out to everyone on my clients list now with a link for booking. All the bookings now will be done online. Um, so anyone who wants to book an appointment can look on that link. Hi Marie. Um, they can look on that link and um, book an appointment through there so you don't have to like talk to me. Uh, there's been a couple of issues with people like me offering people appointments then when I go back to look at them they've already gone. So um, it's the easiest way of doing it basically. Um, and then also there's a little bit of information there on, on the emails I've sent out on the new treatment that I'm doing for weight loss. Um, so other things to say, basically when we come back, obviously things are going to be very different. Uh, first of all, it's going to be a massive shock to the system going back to work. I don't know if many of you have had time off work or uh, if you've just been carrying on as normal through it. But even if you're working from home, I think it's so different working from home um, to going into work. So it's going to be really strange actually sort of waking up to an alarm because <laughs> I don't think I've set one the whole time. Um, but obviously the way I'll be working is going to be really different as well. So um, I am going to be wearing a visor, I will be wearing a face mask and obviously the normal stuff like an apron and gloves anyway. Um, I'm going to have some alcohol gel outside of the room and I'll be asking people to wash their hands outside before they come in. Um, and what I'm also hoping to do, um, but obviously this depends on the... So I'm at um, near the end of a dead end corridor and I've got some seats outside. So I'm hoping that people would um, be able to sit outside while they have their numbing cream because obviously we're gonna have to try and minimize contact as well. I think 20, uh, I think 15 minutes is ideal, but um, I think 30 minutes maximum really. So for people who are coming and having treatments which require numbing beforehand, I'm gonna be asking you to sit outside as long as there isn't lots of passing traffic because obviously I wanna respect your confidentiality as well. Um, so that you can numb and I'll be also allowing more time between patients so that I can clean down thoroughly because obviously I mean we'd always clean down anyway but obviously we're needing to use some different things um, so yeah I'm um, also the other new thing is if you're a new client or if you haven't been for a while I'm going to be sending out your questionnaires ahead of time so rather than normally you'd come in and I sit and I go through them with you just to sort of limit that face-to-face -face contact and obviously the risk of transmitting or infecting somebody um, I'm gonna ask you to um, complete them before you come and then I'll have a read through make sure that you're suitable because obviously as well if anything comes up in them where I feel you're not suitable for treatment I'll ask you not to come beforehand to save you a journey as well so um, does anyone have any if anyone has any questions there's quite a few people watching so if you have questions please do um, ask away even if they're not really relevant to what I'm doing it's fine we're all I think we've all been really lonely um yeah so basically I'll be People will be downstairs as usual. I'll bring you up. I'll sit you outside the room. If you need numbing cream, hopefully I'll numb you out there. If not, you'll be on the sofa. But I'm hoping to get people straight in the treatment room, onto the treatment couch. Uh, obviously, we'll go for a consultation everything there and then start treating. But I will be looking um, not my usual self because I'll have a visor on. I'll have a mask on um, as well. I can't wait to see what Hydra. Oh, thanks, Claire. I'm looking forward to getting. I'm honestly just so excited to see people again. Like, it feels like Christmas at the thought of seeing people. And, like, the worst thing for me is going to be not um, hugging people because I'm like, everyone who's been to me knows I'm a bit of a hugger. So, that's going to be so strange, like, seeing people and just being like. And when I've done my hospital shifts and you're wearing a mask as well, because I'm quite like a smiley person, I'm smiling at people. And they can't, like, they can't tell you're smiling, especially with all the um, freezing action that I've had going on on my face. So I'm smiling, and I'm looking at them, and they're just looking at me gone out, like, because they can't tell I'm smiling under my mask. So it's going to be really strange wearing a mask. Um, but um, if you want to wear a mask to your appointment, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, if we're doing upper face work, then we can, you can leave your mask on, that's fine. But obviously if we are doing um, like lips and things like that, we won't be able to. Um, 
I'm just trying to think, if you want a consultation, you can wear a mask for them. Anything where you want to wear a mask, like, I want you to feel safe as well. So that's, um, you do what you think's right for you. Anyone else got any other questions? I'm just trying to think um, if I've covered everything. I'm gonna be trying my hardest. I've been writing some policies today and I'm gonna try my hardest to put them up on my website. And there is a COVID policy there. It, which hopefully I'll be able to get on my website um, and that will sort of like run through everything I've said anyway. Hi Carrie, you okay? Um, you look amazing. Thanks Claire. I feel like uh, I don't think I've seen this much movement in my forehead for about three years. Look at that frown. This one, <laughs> my right side's weaker so my uh, left side can move a lot more. I'm gonna ask clients to use hand wipes and sanitizer outside the house too. Yeah, I was thinking about getting um, cover shoes as well, but I'm not sure if that's a bit of, I don't know, cause I'll be wiping everything down anyway. Um, I have thought about it though. PPE's just got so expensive though, it's ridiculous. So the pink gloves that I normally wear, I think a box of them usually cost me about eight pounds, something like that. Um, at the moment, a box of them is selling for 25 pound. So even though the government said that no one's meant to profit from this, people are clearly making huge profits from this, which is a bit naughty, really. And um, my bags are darker. I'm really lucky, Claire, touch wood. I, uh, touch wood. Um, I don't really get bags. I'm quite lucky, but I think that's just because I've got, like, fat cheeks. <laughs> um, I can't wait, though, to get my face jabbed. I've never been so excited. Um, any other questions, anyone? Or anyone got anything to say? Has anyone done anything particularly interesting during lockdown? I've done my garden, which I'm not, you can, I think you can see the fence. If I move that way, you can maybe see a little bit of it. Um, which has been really nice because it was just gravel. Um, so luckily I got it all sorted before the sun came and I've actually been able to sit out and get a really nice tan, obviously with my SPF on. Danielle, my lips have deflated, yeah, and mine. I was looking at mine the other, I think about a week ago, thinking, no, yeah, I think they're all right, actually. I don't think I'll have any more when I do reopen. And then um, I looked at them today and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then these bits as well, I'm just so excited. Uh, one of my friends and I, we've already organised to um, sort each other out. I've bought more chickens. <laughs> How many chickens have you got? Oh, I've bought a, um, a bunny rabbit. So I thought I thought about getting a dog at the start of all of this. Um, and any of you who know me know that I've got a miniature schnauzer called Jeffrey, and I absolutely love his breed and his temperament and everything else. So I was like, oh, I might look at getting another one. I've always wanted another one. And I thought now's a good time to get it because I'm gonna have all the time in the world to train him. Um, but there's literally none for sale at all. And I do feel like, maybe it's my feelings, maybe it's not Jeffrey, but, um, I do feel like um, Jeffrey could benefit from having a friend, so I've bought him a bunny rabbit, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna call him Roy Hopper. <laughs> uh, Casey, booked a review for my lips already. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone again. It's just gonna be so nice. It feels like, um, I don't know, I just sort of, I guess I took for granted seeing everybody and just like chatting, and it's just gonna be so nice to mix with people again. Ava 20, oh my God. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind chickens and I'd love the idea of having fresh eggs, but their feet really freak me out. I think because they feel really hard and they're like scaly. They remind me of like, um, a bit like snake skin. <sighs> my, uh, we used to have them when I was little and my parents used to make me muck them out and they stink. Oh my God, have you got him yet? No, not yet, I have yet. But he's, um, he's a little bit like your ginger rabbit actually. Um, but he's like a bit ginger and gray. And um, yeah, I'm so excited to get him. I think we'll get him in about five weeks, but I just really hope that Jeff likes him. Cause in my head, I've got like images of Jeff laying down with this rabbit, being all like loving towards him, but he's probably gonna absolutely hate him. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hi Tara, you okay? Their feet, yeah, their feet are disgusting though, Claire. Chicken feet are just weird. And they've got like them long claws as well. I bet everyone's really excited to get their nails done, aren't they? Hi Sarah, are you okay? Um, any other questions, anybody? I can't really think of anything else I had to say. So we've said about COVID, how things are gonna work. Um, 
as I say, bookings are all on the app now. Hi, Lynn. Um, so yeah, that was it really. Just wanted to come and say hello. I'm looking forward to getting back. Um, what I'm sure when I get back, it'll feel like I've never been away. But at the minute it feels like, well, I've never ever been, I've worked since I was 13 and I don't think I've ever had this amount of time off work. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, I'm booked in for nails. I don't think I'm gonna get my nails done again. I've actually sort of got used to having them shorter. Um, and now, when they grow, like they're really short now. And when they grow now, I can't cope with them. I'm like, oh God, I need to um, turn it off. Yeah, sure, Faye, ask away. I've, tried, I've sort of spoke about COVID already, but I'm not sure, I don't know. I'm just waffling on and drinking my cup of tea, to be honest, while I'm talking to people. So with Hydro, we won't know till they open. Will you update as we book that? Yeah, so with Hydro, Angie takes all of the bookings there and away. Um, if she opens on the 4th of July, she'll be, she'll be able to let you know, but I'm sure she'll be posting on her page closer to the time, um, just to confirm higher. Um, yeah, I've never taken bookings for Angie. She's always done it. So I'm thinking, I think Faye's asking a question. <laughs> I bet Faye's never been so quiet either. She works at Tatchel Lakes and normally it's like absolutely heaving there all the time. Oh, that's the other thing. I'm thinking of decorating my clinic. What do you guys think to that? I'm thinking like, I'm obsessed with tropical stuff. Like, I don't know if you can see, but I've got two, three, four, five palm trees in my garden now. And I'm just like, I'm loving them. So, um, if you, I think I'm going to do the clinic a bit more tropical. Uh, no worries, sorry if I ask anything that's already been asked and answers. Are we going to need to wear like gloves and PPE or will it just be you? So I will be wearing all my PPE to protect you from me if I cough or anything like that. If you want to wear PPE, if you want to wear gloves and that you absolutely can, that's fine. Um, if you want to wear a mask, you can, that's fine. Um, but obviously if I'm doing your lips and things like that, um, I, I will have to remove your mask unless you just fancy a bit of potluck on what they look like at the end. Uh, do we have to come to appointments alone now? Yes, please. So the bring a bestie. God, Faye, you have such good questions. Loads of people have asked me about this actually and I forgot. So the bring a bestie offer is still coming, is still going. If you want to come together, you can do, but you won't be able to come into the room together. So um, if you wanted, one of you could just come um, say you book it at two o'clock, one of you could come at two and then the next one could arrive at half two. Um, but I am still running it and you can still book it on my website, but you won't be allowed in the actual room together. So when I'm doing treatments, it will only be you and me doing the treatment. Well, I'll be doing the treatment, but it'll only be you and me in there. Um, I won't be doing training or anything at the moment either while we just sort of wait and see what's happening. Hi, Laura. Um, we yeah i think that's answered everything uh with your pp though yeah feel free to wear whatever you want to make you feel comfortable um like even before we close some people were coming to appointments with gloves on um i think like i won't be offended if you treat me like a contagious disease and i hope you won't be offended if i treat you like one either i struggle with my hay fever and breathing as you know i'm paranoid of coughing yeah, I think everyone feels a bit paranoid about coughing at the moment, but um, as long as you don't have um, a persistent cough, then you should be okay. Will you still be able to offer every treatment that you offered before as soon as you reopen? Yeah, so basically everything, I'm offering everything apart from microneedling because it generates blood splatters, um, but I've got lots of alternatives to that and I don't think it'll be long before um i offer microneedling i think i might just change the pp that i wear for it basically so everything's pretty much still on i've missed 10 minutes what is happening can you make me not look like a saggy bum hole <laughs> oh my god did you see the picture that i put on of my chicken uh, that i was doing today how disgusting is this let me just get it because it's so gross uh are we still allowed to hug um i'd love to hug we can do like air hugs like i imagine they do in hollywood but I'm not allowed to touch you right now. Look, how saggy is that chicken? Is that what you're looking like, Emily? <laughs> Rachel. Hi, Max, you're looking nice. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Check your tan. Yes, Jen. Can you tell what I did when we had the week of good weather? I was outside 
on my yoga mat on the grass. Well, it's fake grass. Um, making the most of the sunshine. Random one. On the new weight loss you're offering, do we inject that ourselves? As I know some options every day. Yeah, so uh, I have to be careful what I say because it's a prescription only medication. And as you know, with the wrinkle relaxing treatments or solutions that we offer, we have to avoid certain words. So with the weight loss program, um, there are there is a treatment that you have daily, there's a treatment that you have weekly, and yes, they are both self-administered, but I can show you how to do it. So what I've been doing for people so far is FaceTiming them, having them do it in front of me so I can watch them and I can talk it through step by step. Plus I've got some videos which they can watch beforehand if they want, and um, yeah, we just sort of talk it all through like that. When having a treatment like my lips, would we be able to still look at problem areas then and there? Yeah, that's fine. But obviously, we're going to have to be conscious of time and the fact that I need to leave time to clean. So, um, I don't want to sound abrupt with anybody, but um, I'm going to have to be sticking to it. I always sort of like overbooked time anyway before, but I'm going to have to be sticking to it a bit more just to make sure that the cleaning is done before the next person's in. Because obviously, like, we don't want to um, sacrifice... The worst thing we want to sacrifice is cleaning. So, uh, is the daily one more effective than the weekly one? The weekly one, so the daily one is licensed. The weekly one is not, but it's obtaining a license, um, which doesn't really, from like a consumer point of view, lots of things are prescribed off license. So don't worry too much about that. But um, the weekly one is around three times more effective than the daily one. Could you message me details on the weight programme, please? Yes, are you part of the group? There's a group on Facebook, NM, I can never say the initials, NMWLP with Megan. If you go on the group, there's quite a bit on there because I'm trying not to bombard my main Facebook with it because I don't want people thinking that I think they should lose weight. Um, but, um, so I'm trying to keep it into the group so anyone who wants to lose weight can access the information but people who don't want to lose weight aren't going to be offended by watch, um, by seeing it or anything. Do you have any other questions, Faye? <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I still stock products. Um, everything will pretty much be as normal except I won't be hugging and I'll be wearing a visor and looking like I've just landed from the moon. Um, or on the moon even. Um, skincare products, if you do want any skincare products, try and let me know in advance so that I can make sure I've definitely got the ones that you want in. Because obviously throughout all of this, lots of the pharmacies that we use have been closed, so we haven't been able to, um, no, no, it's fine, Faye, I like it. Uh, it gives me something to talk about. Um, yeah, a lot of the pharmacies that I normally use have been shut during all of this, so, um, just yeah i haven't been able to get loads of stock but um let me know my light keeps changing it's really annoying me the lip balm is the best one i've ever had yeah it is really good isn't it my lips went really dry when we had all that heat but then i use one with a spf in um and i think i like i don't know you know when you like overuse it and then i think you end up wiping it off because you put too much on if that makes sense uh, anything else? Hi Claire. I'm Can you still see me? Because my screen's gone really dark on my phone, so I'm not sure what I'm looking like to you guys. Mike Needling and Dermapen, are they two different things? So Dermapen is a brand and uh, my, oh sorry, I don't know what to know. And microneedling is a treatment. So Dermapen are a supplier of a specific device, uh, but we're just calling it microneedling now. Can people still see me? Because I look really, when I'm looking at my phone, I look really dark, like I've like someone's turned the light off. I love seeing your pics on lips. I miss mine, I feel so deflated. Yeah, I have got loads of draft posts, but I just, um, I don't know, I'll start posting again soon, but I just think while I've been off, it's been nice to just post about like quizzes and just stuff like that, so. Yeah, you look fabulous, so are you opening July? Sorry, I'm super stupid right now. No, you're not, Emily. Um, Yes, I am, July the 4th, I'm hoping to be back. Obviously that is subject to change if Boris decides that we have to go back into lockdown. Um, But 
I can't, I personally can't see that happening. Um, so, um, and there's people, there are some people who are open now. Um, I'm not ready, I don't think now's the time to go back personally, but there are some people who are open now. So I think it's going to be pretty certain I'll be back on the 4th of July. Dave had one treatment of microneedling as he had a lot of acne scars. What's the best treatment would you say? I'd say microneedling, but one, uh, you need, excuse me, you need a course of treatments really. One treatment of microneedling, it'll make a bit of a difference, but you need more to have like a sustainable difference, basically. Um, if they're scars, it's too late really to start putting stuff on them. Retinol might be good to put on them if you, uh, the ordinary, do a really good retinol product. Um, so that might help, but you always need more, like microneedling, it's nice if you've got, like, my skin's pretty good now, so microneedling would be nice for me. I'll probably do it before I go back to work with a peel as well. Um, so my skin's looking really fresh, but when I had acne, I needed a, a course of treatments to get the most from it. Microneedling has helped with my acne scar and redness, Claire. I've had quite a few sessions. Yeah, I can't remember how many you've had, actually, Faye. Um, but yeah, you m one session, like I say, it'll do a little bit, but not loads. Uh, have you got a waiting list at the moment then? Birthday's on the 13th and I want a couple of it's doing. I'm getting fine lines. My bags under my eyes are gross and obviously lippies. Um, where are your fine lines, Emily? And I am, so I'm taking bookings now already. If you go onto my website, which is just aestheticsbymegan.co.uk, uh, you can click on the book now and then it'll take you to my booking page and you can book in. But if you're wanting a couple of things, uh, maybe just send me a message first so I can tell you what to book in for because I'm not sure if you're wanting the wrinkle relaxing solutions or if you're thinking of something else. And I can't ever remember you having bags under your eyes, Emily. Uh, that's good to hear. Thank you, Faye. Faye is like a fountain of knowledge. We'll have to, um, oh, we'll have to do some live videos, Faye, but like COVID lives, forehead and my lips and crow's feet. Yeah, so that's basically two areas of wrinkle relaxing solutions and lips, having what you want. So, um, you can get, like I say, if you go onto my website, you can book in through there. I'm not sure what else to say. Has anyone else got any other questions? Faye, have you got anything else? Okay, I'll message you later, babe. Oh, I have, like, horrendous. I've never, I don't even remember seeing you with bags, Emily. You don't look like, I don't know, you look like you've just got a really nice, smooth face, I always think. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and put my COVID policy online as well. I'm not great with technology, so we'll see how that goes. So for anyone who's missed this or who can't be bothered to rewatch it, because um, how long have we been? I don't even know how long we've been going for now. But we've been going for a while. So if you can't be bothered to watch back about the COVID stuff, um, I will be putting a policy hopefully online anyway. He had one treatment before lockdown and it did help, but obviously that was four months ago. God, has it been four months since lockdown? When do we go in? March, April, May, June. God, by the time we go back, it will be nearly four months. I think I've got quite used to just like sitting at home now, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, I need to work because it is it does get pretty boring some days. I imagine like for people who have children, I imagine some days it's absolutely amazing because you're never going to get to spend this time with your kids again. Then I imagine other days, it's like, you just want to hide somewhere and you can't even really like go to the shops or anything at the minute, can you? So I've, I've been avoiding the shops like the plague because um, I hate you and I hate going one way around. It just makes you pick up like so much more shit than what you ever needed. I went to Tesco, I thought I'll just take a rucksack, I'll walk and I'll take a rucksack with me so I can't get too much. And I ended up getting two bags for life, then having to walk up a hill all the way home. God, never again. Uh, it was three months on Wednesday since we did. God, really? I can't believe that. It does not feel like that at all. It feels like, I don't know, maybe five or six weeks for me. That's why my bags are darker, bloody kits. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I have been um, quite grateful, to be honest, for all of this, that I've not got children. Um. Anyone else got any questions before I go? If not, I'm gonna go and see what I can 
eat for my tea. Obviously, I'm on a healthy thing at the minute, so I think I'm going to do a homemade Thai red curry. Um, just with some egg fried rice, I think. Okay, I think that's everything. So, I'm going to go. If anyone does have any questions, please do feel feel free to message me. Uh, I have sent out an email to everyone. I don't know if it goes, some people might have got it in their junk files, but I have sent an email to everyone with the booking link and also with the link for the weight loss program as well. So any questions, let me know. But it's been lovely chatting to everyone and thanks for watching. See you later, bye.